Hello everybody, Prince and the Bear here. We're back at City Walk. I'm excited. I've been really, really, really wanting to try cowfish. Yes, this place is finally back open again. We have heard absolutely zero about it. Okay, so I feel like we're in for an adventure. Yes. So uh, we're gonna head in here and uh, hopefully I don't feel like a cow and a fish at the same time. I'm not wrong with this. Be sure to don't eat cow and fish. You heard the girl. and I feel like we're sitting in a wind tunnel, so bear with us. I got the bourbon smash. We've got bourbon and elderflower, simple syrup, lime juice, muddled raspberries, and blueberries. Ooh, that's really good. It's got like an interesting little, fla it's like flavored bourbon, basically. It's really delicious. It's kind of like a mule. But elderflower instead of ginger beer, but it still gives you that like ginger beer vibe, so I'm, I'm down for that. If you ever wondered what Floridians do when the weather is like this outside, this is like 1 19th of a hurricane. Don't ask me where I got 1 19th from, we're going with it. So, this is bourbon smash. We like drinks with the word smashing it around here. I will forgive the fruit cocktail on it since it looks so pretty. I'd say it smashes that other part. Five out of five claws. It is a tasty smash. And then Bear got what looks like a mojito. But it's a... Uh, Haruku Nights? Is that right? Haidoku Nights. Which has uh, nectar and vodka, lemongrass syrup, basil, mint, and cucumber. Ooh. I actually like bears more than I like mine. We might be training. And we have like the Hokkaido Knights with this beautiful work of art like rolled cucumber on top. Looks almost like a tea. With alcohol. Oh my god, that's good. The like cucumber is just thrown up the taste. We're not give you that funky cucumber aftertaste. This is also really good. I think this is another five out of five claws. Like I would drink both of these and then order more. So, um, I am spoiled with umami burger in California. So when I saw sriracha at umami, I was like, let's see how it compares to umami burger. First, it's not sticky. It looks like it's just sriracha flakes, kind of, which is different. Cheers. It's kind of light in flavor. It's mostly um, salty and not really spicy. Such a fail. Definitely such a fail. But it's still good. I love edamame, so I'm gonna eat it. Sort of behind the scenes secret. Edamame is one of our favorite at home snacks. Quick and easy. Seen in the microwave. Make your own healthy sauce. Kind of interested what they're going for here because it is like a. It's like sriracha salt. I'm not gonna put it down. I wish it was less salty. Interesting. Not a complete win though. Three out of five blocks. House made veggie burger. I'm so glad there's still house made veggie burgers around here. That's not like a Beyond Burger and Impossible Burger. So I'm excited to see what this tastes like. Ooh, it's falling apart. It's 
Not a very good cross section, yo. Like half of it just fell out of the bottom. Look, look. There's my burger. How am I supposed to eat that? More of it fell out than it ended up in my mouth. But it's actually really good. There's edamame in it, carrots, black beans. It's very flavorful for a house-made veggie burger. I'm, I'm quite surprised. I like this a lot. I would um, recommend this. If you want a burger that's not your traditional Beyond Impossible, very, very good. And then we have frites. No, Seasoned very well, not overly salty, not too thick, not too thin. I'd call this perfect. But I do want you to tell me in the comments, what is your favorite thing to dip in fries? Me? It's not ketchup. It's probably mustard. This right here is very interesting. And points are being different, if not messy. And it is very messy. Too thick in here. I don't want to eat wood. Onions might kill me. Pull those out. I'm just gonna turn this upside down. Do this bear style. There's a lot going on in there. But the veggies with the red pepper, avocado, just rice, black beans, edamame, a little bit of onion, a couple other beans in there I'm missing. But it all comes together really well for a nice like savory bite. Not on the same level as like a burger savory, but a nice savory vegetable. Everything ties together really nicely, where you don't feel like anything in this burger is out of place. Um, I would highly recommend this, especially with this bun. It makes it amazing. I would give it four out of five claws. If you have a problem with alt meats at Universal, I definitely suggest that you come here and try this. This will definitely suit your needs. You know the drill. The princess are grabbing one of her longest fries. The fry test, nobody escapes. That's a solid pass. Crisp, fresh, those fries are a good four and a half out of five claws. Now, this is the first time I have felt indecisive on a menu, so I just ordered everything I wanted. As blasphemous as it is, and I'm sorry, Evan Taylor, this is burgushi, a fusion of burgers and sushi. I don't even know if I want to call this American style, but it is seared ahi tuna with lettuce, bacon, tomato, shaved carrots with a bun, quote unquote, made out of rice paper and imitation crab and then there's some right, white rice in there too as a bun. This burger is confused as a cis white male at a pride parade. And I absolutely love it. Just like the sandwich, the flavor makes no sense. It's ishi, but at the same time as the rice paper, it's spicy, the bacon is crunchy, the tuna is seared and soft, and extremely flavorful, but at the same time, very, very good. It's kind of hard to describe what it tastes like with so many things all at once, but above all, it's very fun to eat. It's messy, but fun. I can't think it's something I would order every time that I come here, but if you read this in the menu and you like everything that's in it, I suggest you order it to try it out. I'm gonna give it a four out of five claws just for the idea alone. The flavors also equal four out of five claws. Now, because I wanted to be ridiculous, I got sushi. Because I always get sushi. It's the one thing in this world I can't live without. Sushi is the number one reason why I can never go 100% plant-based. It's really the only reason, as sad as that sounds. Eel sashimi. No! I'm not wasting eel.
Very nice eel roll. Fresh, not too ishy. They put some eel sauce on top, it's looking crazy. The sesame seeds help, help with the texture. Give that four and a half out of five bucks. Imitation crab. Okay, sort of straight out of the package. I did get some rolls as well. The nice, boring California roll. If you like California rolls, I wanna know why. Because honestly, I don't understand it. They're not that great. Two out of five loss. The rice tastes like it's been sitting. It's a little bit soggy. As the rice, it doesn't really come together like the California roll is like a McDonald's cheeseburger. It better be like good, standard. If it's a mess, throw it out. Tuna roll. Tuna is fresh at the very least. Overall, I not to try everything. The sushi is passable. It's not the best. If you're craving sushi and you're here, you want something light. I guess it works. Overall, give it a three out of five plus. Order it if you have to. But it's probably better sushi places closer to here. So far, my favorite theme park sushi has to be Tokyo Night. This is amazing. Wow. I think this is one of the best special rolls I've ever had. I mean, the best special roll I've ever had. Five out of five. I need that. One piece of my sushi. Mm. Whole thing, six out of five. I love this. I would definitely come here and get this again. It's amazing. This was amazing. Man. The mm. service was amazing. The food was amazing. By far the best special roll I've ever had in my life. They by far have the highest quality, best presentation. And then the cost of value department just went all around. So, how was our meal at Taco? It was affordable, it was delicious, the portions were large. I would come back. The drinks were good. There are more drinks you want to try. Yeah. More food you want to try. Yeah, there's lots of there's additional vegan items that I did not try today. Okay. This place, uh, I didn't even think about it. I came in kind of skeptical, but it exceeded my expectations. It's not the best restaurant I've ever been to, but it's a fun restaurant. And the service, yeah. the service was immaculate. The, um, it's better than theme park food, that's for sure. Yes, yeah, most definitely. This is definitely worth a stop in or out of the park. Especially, like I said before, if you're a plant-based person that does not like all meats, this is definitely a stop in Oh, yeah, absolutely. But we want to know, have you guys been to Calfish? Did you even know it reopened? If so, let us know in the comments. Hit that notification bell if you want to see videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday. Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Sure to subscribe. You heard the go.